What is up guys, this is Sir Awesome Media here, and welcome to a Minecraft mod review. Now today we are interviewing a awesome mod. Uh, it's personally probably my favorite mod so far, at least from 1.5.1. It is the Lord of the Rings mod. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I'm right. It's the Lord of the Rings mod. Uh, I kind of set up a separate chest. Because I thought I was going to put more stuff in, but I didn't want to bore you to death. Okay, so this mod is in development, so keep that in mind when you're watching this video. Not everything is finished, uh, and there's tons of more stuff to come. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know if y'all know this, but I'm a big Lord of the Rings uh, fan. I love the series, I love the books, I just love everything about it. It's always been one of my favorite uh, series is, that's the proper plural, plural form of series, I don't really know, but here are the weapons in the game, and I forgot to put in the elven bow, but you can ba get a basic idea, okay, so we got the orc battle axe, the orc dagger, poisoned orc dagger, the orc spear, sting, mithril sword, the mace of sauron, gondorian sword, bronze spear, Iron Spear, Mithril Spear, Andoril, I think that's how you say it, Malarn Sword, Elven Sword, and Elven Spear. So, obviously this implements way more weapons, and I don't know if y'all know what Sting is, but it's a pretty cool weapon. And hold up, let me turn off my music. <laughs> uh, Sting is a very powerful weapon, same with the Mesa Sauron. My first personal favorite is Anduril, which is the broken sword, I believe, that uh, Aragorn fixed. If you have no idea what I'm saying right now, just don't worry, it's not important. Okay, armor. We got orc armor, mithril armor, and we got my personal favorite, Gondorian armor, which is what you saw uh, just a second ago. It's pretty cool. And we also got uh, warg armor. Uh, an elven helmet. So, you know, ah, uh, yeah, it's cool. It adds, you know, cool um, weapons and armor. But that's not it. It actually adds a whole new dimension. So if you make a gold ring, which is crafted by making a square out of golden nuggets, I believe, uh, you get, you just break a hole in the ground. So simple as that. And you must have a bucket of lava so let's go ahead and get that and just like in the movie you throw the ring in oh my gosh it's a circle of minecraft yes there is a circle of minecraft it's pretty cool looking to be honest with you uh, the mon developer did a great job with this okay here we go let's go in magical land of mineral earth okay. <laughs> Portal noises. And it takes a little bit to render up. Okay. So there are currently, let's see, how many count? Gondor, Rohan, the Shire, Mordor. I think, I believe there are five biomes at the moment. There are planned to be more. And right now we are in Rohan. You could check what biome you spawn in by pressing. F3, and you'll see that it says Rohan right under my F coordinates. And let's get away from that portal because it's annoying. Here's one of the features of Rohan, and it's one of the big, it's probably the biggest in the main feature. Uh, they have horses which you can ride. So if I was to get a uh, saddle, I could go ahead and ride <laughs> this horse. And it even makes a Plop noise when he goes places. So you control him like you control a pig. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, there are no current crafting recipes for most of the weapons, unfortunately. Um, I may be wrong, but I've checked them and I've done everything I could and it doesn't seem to work. I don't know. I'm Obviously, this is in very early, early stages. And luckily, we're right next to another biome, 
which is uh, Mordor. Now, I'm not going to have time to go over everything today because it is such a big mod, and I kind of want y'all to experience it for yourselves. So what I have done is uh, I've decided to just split it down into some of the main spawns and all the uh, biomes. So let's light this place up a little. It's a little dark. And uh, I forgot to turn the... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, this looks way more like Mordor now. And let's go ahead and t set the time to 100. Okay. So these, you guessed it, are orcs. And you can attack them. Now one thing that's really cool about them is how they, they're almost like players, to be honest with you. They're not like mobs. They make an actual player mob noise. And they drop rotten flesh, and they sometimes drop their weapons. And you can, for example, let me go into uh, game mode survival here. And I want to show you that they actually have a hit animation. See? So it's like a real player. So it's very immersive. And he just poisoned me with that poison blade. I... Okay, let's go back. Ouch. <laughs> what does that do? Okay. And Sting. Okay, I don't know if y'all have seen the movie before. Uh, or any of the movies, or read the books. But Sting is a special sword that was... It was an elven sword that Bilbo found. And this, you're just going to get an, a lore lesson right here. And it lights up when you are near orcs. So it's lighting up right now. Which means there are orcs nearby. And it's a pretty good weapon. To be honest with you. If I can get down. And, and they can throw spears at you. So orcs spawn everywhere, every biome at night, except for the Shire. And I believe we are in, well, this mountain right here. We are in the Misty Mountains, which, as you see, ironically, if you want to call it ironic or not, which it isn't, obviously, uh, we are in a misty area because it is <gasps> the Misty Mountains. Oh my gosh. So... We're going to kind of travel around and hopefully can find other biomes because it can be quite difficult to find the biome you're looking for. So I'm going to kind of go along with what happens. And the Misty Mountain biome is very hard to traverse, obviously, because of these huge peaks. But it's gorgeous and beautiful, 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 beautiful. So let's see if we can find any other biomes. Luckily, I'm in creative mode. Me and Harrison have been playing this lately, and we walked <laughs> the whole place. So, you know, I probably should have planned this ahead of time, <laughs> but oh well. It is what it is. Yes, okay, here we go. This is the Elven biome, which is called Lotharine. And they live in trees and got cool tree houses, and that's about it. I mean, there's nothing really special about them except the elves are really cool. If you are you an elf friend, Sir Epic Six Fourteen? Yes. Uh, I'll go ahead and answer that. So let's go ahead and travel through the magical land of elves. Uh, cut down this tree. Cut in half. Okay, let's keep moving. Keep moving. Hmm. Oh, there it goes. Now, I think the Mace of Sauron can only hurt uh, Gondorian soldiers and all of the good forces. I'm not too sure, though. Yep. And the Staff of Gandalf, which I forgot to show you. How dare I? It's like 
Awesome. Where is the staff of Gandalf? Oh, it's in Middle Earth magic. Shoots a fireball that only hurts orcs. So it's a pretty cool staff. Obviously, it looks cool. And we're going to end up going back into Mordor. It seems that Mordor is one of the biggest biomes that I've come across. Now, obviously, it's randomly generated, so I don't expect it to be a, uh, oh, well, Mordor was over here in the trilogy. No, it's it's randomly generated. The Shire could be right on the doorstep of Mordor. Uh, it's it's Minecraft, so it's not, but it's still, it's a pretty amazing mod. Uh, a lot of time and effort went into this, and I'm not, I'm not gonna, I don't really have any complaints about it, other than it's not finished, which should be easy to resolve, because he's working on it as we speak. Okay, let's, oh, Axe Spike. Okay, so you may be wondering, what is that magical bar at the top? Now, I'm not too sure what it is, to be honest with you. I think it is to indicate what side, side you're leaning towards. Like, I guess the more good people you kill, uh, or chunk error right here, I guess the more good people you kill, the more you go towards the Eye of Sauron right there, the bad side, and the more bad people you kill, or good deeds you do, because there are supposed to be like RPG-like elements in this mod, I'm assuming, from the way it was worded in the forums, uh, it's supposed to lean you, oh, it's supposed to lean you to the, uh, left more the good side so I'm going to eventually eventually find a, another biome because these elves just love love their forests don't they Ooh. and what I should probably do is <laughs> Okay, yes, we're coming up upon something new. I think, please be yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we are now in the Shire. And if you don't know what the Shire is, it's only the most peaceful and awesome place in Middle Earth. Uh, I would love to live there because they have a great life, man. No work, just awesomeness. And this is one of the randomly generated structures here. It's a hobbit hole. Oh, they eat too. That's, that's cool. I didn't know that. Oh, and they smoke. Oh, I can't wait to show you that. Okay. So, the road goes ever on and on. What does his wife have to say? Good day. Good day to you. So, obviously, this is a pretty neat layout. They added plates in. It's called a hobbit plate, and it has its own food category. The foodstuffs. And it has beer and chocolate, which I'm assuming is chocolate milk. And if it is, that right there sells me on the mod because I love chocolate milk. Uh, limbus, whatever that is. Lettuce, gammon, and mead and ale. Uh, there's currently a bug that when I drink ale, it crashes me. So I'm not going to do that for obvious reasons. And what's this they have in the chest? That's a hobbit cake, I believe. And hobbit ovens, so it cooks a bunch of stuff at once, basically. Like, you put all your food up here, put the fuel in, and then it all cooks at the same time and it all appears right here. And they got cool chandeliers, which if you want to add chandeliers to your home, you can. Okay, now here is another building that spawns in the Shire, and this is one of the only two buildings that do, and it is a tavern, and they have their own randomly generated names for the tavern, the Weary Jimmies, oh hello little lady, and if we go inside, you see it's a bunch of drunk hobbits. Very fine place to get drunk. Got a nice little fireplace to have different types of chandeliers. Got a little table. This the lady's helping herself to some beer. And yeah. So let's let's move on. And there's Mordor right there. 
I like how literally earlier I said, the Shire could be right on the doorstep of Mortar. And there's Mortar right there. Luck of the Irish, guys. Luck of the Irish. If y'all don't know, I'm Irish. Just so y'all know. Ah, Mordor. Now that looks like a cozy hobbit hole. Besides the fact they have to stare at stupid orcs all the time. The Shire is one of the most gorgeous biomes, I think. The grass is so green, like it is in the movie. It stays true to the uh, aspect of the movie. And it's really nice, actually. So let's keep on chugging along. I have to check on something real quick. What does this, uh, what does this say? The Grumbling Hobbit? Okay. I'll take it, I'll take it. Gondor, I believe, we are going into. Are we going back into the Misty Mountains? The Shire Woodlands, okay. So they have a woods area. And... That isn't a fart, that's one noise that I make with my lips. It's like I put my teeth over my lips and suck. Anyways, um, I think I'm just going to skip ahead. Uh, I'm going to tell you about Gondor and its majesty. Gondor is basically a miniature version of the Misty Mountains. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> but it does have some cool buildings that spawn there. So let's go ahead and find a building that spawns there. Okay, this is one of the buildings that spawns there. Beacon Tower. Now here's something really cool. Okay, you see those Gondorian soldiers, by the way, and they will fight orcs if in their area. So let's say I get a, uh, a flint and steel. So I get a flint and steel. And I like this beacon. You can guess what's going to happen to another beacon. Any minute now. There we go. So if you ever want to send a distress signal for, to your friends and have enough resources, you can make a, a little beacon towers that go all the way from here to there or something. I think it's a radius of 64 blocks. Now here's the cool thing. And let me tell you, once I first saw this, I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's pretty cool looking. Uh, it's got some soldiers in there. That are pretty well armed. I'm a knight of Gondor. Really? I didn't know that. Welcome to Gondor. We'll learn the Shire technically, but whatever. I'm a knight of Gondor. Oh, really? That's what he just said. Okay, let's go in here. Uh, obviously, it adds new blocks in this, and the Gondorian blocks of awesomeness are pretty cool. You can find some beer over there, and cheers. Okay, let's grab another beer. And they'll have some pretty useful stuff in here. So watch what happens if we... Uh-oh. Let's see this. Apparently, the beer does not work for some reason, which it did earlier. You know what? I'm going to have a mug of chocolate instead. Nope. It doesn't work for some reason. But you get the idea. If you drink more than two, I believe, beers... You get uh, drunk, and you wake up and have no idea what happened. No, I'm just kidding. You just get nauseous, and your screen goes like, Oh, what is going on? Anyways, so that's what Gondor has to offer. And one more thing I'm going to show you. And you can't expect uh, this mod to be implemented into the Kitchen Party series. Possibly, maybe. Then I'm going to show you some mobs. This is not supposed to be here, but we'll put it here anyway. Dun -dun! Yes, this is the, um, uh, it's not Isengard. It's not Orsminium or whatever that tower is called in, that you see in Lord of the Rings. It's like that, though. And it's basically the Gondorian fortress for, um, Mordor. And it's pretty cool. It's got its own custom torch layout. These are orc bombs, which are very... It's just basically TNT. It's just retextured, I guess. Anyways, let's uh, have a look at some of the 
some of the mobs that I haven't showed you yet. Or you haven't seen. I don't believe you've seen. Okay. So, we're going to start with a Shire Pony. And you can guess it. It's basically just a uh, horse, but smaller. Because, you know, the hobbits have to have fairly small uh, animals. You know, they're not able to ride those big, sturdy horses. Here's an elf warrior, which is pretty cool looking, to be honest with you. And let's see if they fight. Here's Sauron. He's a boss. And I think I know who's going to win. Yep. So you get the idea. Sauron is like the uh, wither, I guess you could say. It's pretty powerful. He's trying to attack me right now, but he's not really work working. And he's huge, too. Obviously, it's kind of creepy. So yeah, guys, that was a brief. Uh, that was a brief uh, overview of the Lord of the Rings mod. I definitely encourage you to check this guy out. He's awesome. I'll put the forum link in the description so you can download it and explore Middle Earth with yourself for yourself. Uh, th you'll definitely see more content from this mod because I am going to implement it into Kitchen Party, and it should be pretty interesting. It's not going to be immediate because I kind of want to finish some stuff up at uh, home base before we move on to Middle Earth. But still, you can expect some of this in the future. Thanks guys for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It really helps me a lot and I would love to have a new person in the sub box. Uh, leave a like if you really want to. And remember, every time you leave a like, it makes me feel happy. And... I believe that the whole world smiles at you. I just completely made that up. <laughs> I need to work on that. I need to work on that. We all know what I'm going to be doing tonight. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you later. Adios, guys.